What's up guys? Hey, this is Christian Brindle with Six Figure Medicare Agent. Hope this video finds you doing well. And today guys, we're going to be talking to you about overrides, uplines, and also recruiting in the Medicare business. And in my opinion, what you need to know, how it differs from other types of insurances um, and the whole nine yards. But before we get into that, guys, I got to talk to you about my favorite telemarketing lead company. And that is, of course, Lead Heroes, guys. Lead Heroes has got you covered when it comes to telemarketing leads, whether it be final expense leads, turning 65 leads, Medicare supplement leads. They just got something for everybody, guys. Just because you watch this video, they're going to give you 10% off any order you make on their website. There's a coupon code found in the, down in the description. So go ahead and um, check them out. All right, guys, let's talk about uplines. Let's talk about recruiting in the Medicare space. So... Insurance is very commonly um, put in the same category as multi-level marketing or network marketing, typically in a lot of circles. What I mean by this is it's very common in network marketing that in the network marketing world, in the network marketing community, um, what you'll typically find is you get a lot of people that their entire business model is recruiting. They don't sell any products. If they do sell products, there's very low incentives for them to be able to do so. Um, and it's essentially a game of recruiting more and more and more. You help two people, help those two people, help two people, help those people, help two people, and so on and so on and so on. And that's the multi-level marketing game. People a lot of times get into the insurance business and they look at it the same way. They look at it like, okay, I'm just gonna bring somebody into the business and I'm going to earn overrides off of that person and I'm just going to essentially contract them and that's it. I'm going to let them sit there. I haven't sold 10 apps myself, but I don't got to teach them anything. My upline will do that. Uh, what I'm going to explain to you guys is going to be a message that a lot of you needs to hear. And um, if you are the type of person that takes this approach, you're bad for the industry, you suck, and you need to get out of it. In your face. I don't care. Um, it's a problem, right? This is the way it works in the Medicare business, all right? So your upline, right? Let's say they're here. And let's say there's a street level agent that's here. There's a percentage of override that's going to be available for that upline for that agent when they make a sale. So essentially, when that when that agent makes a sale, the upline gets a certain percentage of that sale. Not That's not a percentage of the sale, let me take that back. Um, it's an override that's paid in addition to the commission. So the, the, uh, the person that's you know here, essentially the street level agent, they're gonna get the same amount of commission no matter where they go. Now this is in the Medicare Advantage space. Medicare Supplement um, is really the same way, but it's more of a point system, kind of like life insurance, final expense. But in the Medicare Advantage world, there's essentially an override that's available um, that doesn't come off of the agent's plate, right? The agent gets the same commission no matter what, no matter who they're with, no matter where they go, whether they have an upline or not, they get the exact same commission. But when you contract under an upline, there's an override that gets paid to that upline. If an upline allows you to put an agent under you, let's say, let's and let's say you have no sales experience, you have no production, no clients whatsoever, um, which they shouldn't be doing anyway. They shouldn't allow you to move up if you don't have any production because really when you're agreeing to move up, let's say, let's say you're agreeing to move up um, from a street level contract to a GA contract and put agents under you, typically you should be showing some kind of production um, ability to produce um, because if you don't have that, you really can't teach another person how to sell and produce, point blank. You can't teach what you don't know. Let me say that again. You can't teach what you don't know. And people are always asking me, they're like, Christian, do you write any business? Do you produce? Yeah, we write a lot of business, right? We're a great producing agency. Um, I wrote like 25 apps myself in a week a couple weeks ago. I've been a top producer for five Medicare Advantage companies. Five. Most of them several times over. So yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. I've written a lot of business. I've written a lot of insurance. Um, and I've built a book of business. To this day, probably 80% of our revenue as a company comes from my book of business still. 
I mean, I'm still building and I still grow, but there are certain people where like 80, 90% of their business comes from overrides off of downline. And that's okay. There's large organizations like FMOs that don't really sell direct to consumer and all they do is they contract. That's fine. But a lot of times what's going to transpire when someone's contracting with that top of hierarchy FMOs, there's going to be someone in between that's actively in the trenches in the field that's going to train these newbie agents and teach them sales skills and teach them what to say on the phone and teach them how to make appointments and teach them how to cross sell, et cetera, et cetera. So back to my scenario there, if you, the upline's here and you're here and let's say, you know, you've written five apps and you just go to the upline and say, well, I want to recruit and I'm going to leave if you don't let me recruit. The upline's like, okay, well, I just don't think you're ready, but you know, that's fine. They move you up and they allow you to bring one agent underneath you, right? So then there's another agent here. Some people have the attitude that they're like, well, I don't need to teach this agent under the under here because my upline will do that. My upline teaches me and them at the same time and I make money and I sit on my butt and it's beautiful. Many problems with that, okay? Many, many problems with that. Problem number one is when you sign a contract to put people under you and essentially contract people within your hierarchy, you're signing an agreement with the insurance company that you will do the bulk of the support, the training, and you'll service that agent. That's what your override is for. It's not just to sit back and get happy. It's to take care of your agents. It's to, it's to help them, provide resources, training. And this is another secret for you, say, right? So when you're here, let's say street level, and let's say your upline's here, when there's a certain amount of overrides available, when, when the upline moves you to up here, where do you think your override comes from? Your override is coming from the upline's override. They're giving you a piece of their override to be able to put agents in your hierarchy. So they're now teaching you and this other agent, you're taking a piece of the override and you're doing nothing. This isn't the MLM world. Um, first of all, you sign a contract with the carriers that states that you won't do what I just described. Um, the other thing is you're, you're essentially taking override off of you know, the, the plate of the upline. They're still doing all the work. You're doing nothing, but you're still getting something out of it. There is no such thing as a lifetime achievement award or a refinder's fee for life. And if there is, and if you're, and if there's an agency out there that's doing that, they're absolutely moronic and stupid because that's no way to build a business. Any um, good organization is going to say, if you have, if, if we allow you to essentially earn override and take some of our cut, essentially, because that's what it is, um, we respect you, we expect you to do a lion's share of the work in terms of training that, that down, that person in, that, that's in your hierarchy. Um, we will offer you resources, we'll offer support, we'll help them too, but we expect you to do maybe two thirds of it, if not more. Um, and that's the way it's going to be. And that's the way that it should be. A lot of you guys just have this mentality that you're going to come right into the business and you're going to bring like five people in your upline is going to do all the work train them provide all the resources you're going to do absolutely nothing you're going to sit on your butt and you're going to get happy and make all these overrides that's not the way this is this, this business works that's not the way this industry works and if you're expecting that the business is better off without you the industry is better off without you so either understand that you have to bring value to the table you sign an agreement with the carriers it's in your contract to put to put people in your hierarchy that you will take care of them that you will provide resources to them and your upline doesn't have to do everything you you sign that agreement with the carriers read your contracts and in this life you get what you put in the value you bring to the table is going to determine what kind of rewards you get in the end. That is a life principle. And this is no exception to that. So anyway, guys, I felt like this was something that needed to be said. I felt like um, there's too many of this going on, and I think it's really a problem. Um, can you find uplines that are willing to do that? Yes, but not for long. They're probably new to the business or very new to working with agents, and you know they're going to end up stretching themselves thin. You have to take responsibility and you have to understand that I have to bring value to this agent and my upline shouldn't have to do everything for me. 
Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> might be a little controversial, might be a little aggressive in your face a little bit, but um, it's a message that needed to be said. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I'd love to hear about it. Comment in the comment sections your thoughts. Um, drop a like on this video if you found it helpful so it helps find more people just like you. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload, and we'll see you next time. Here's to your success and your abundance. Thanks, guys.